Stay put. Don't move. Uh, he caught it! Huh? Sino, what's wrong? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a... <sighs> Finally, I made it. I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? Uh, hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Why would you catch that instead of a swift fly? Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool even Sino? That's right. During a previous interior design project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland, so I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Not long ago, the two of us took all those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. Why would you do that? <laughs> Need you even ask? Young people these days really do need to get out more. Have you never played that game where you play strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? No, I haven't. Wait, so you're trying to... That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just a matter of separating the swift flies from the others. Huh. Guess that's one way to do it. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. I had already thought of this method the moment the round's rules were announced. Of course, we also owe much to this fine junior of mine here for making such lifelike butterflies. It seems that Kasharawar has not quite declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills, at least, seem to be intact. Well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. Ah, look, one of them is returning now. Huh? Wait a moment. Are my eyes deceiving me? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? That's because there are none. Seems like your plan has hit a snag. Looks like the match continues. I'll be looking elsewhere. Huh. Strange. Has something else diverted their attention? Come, let's search in the direction the bait returned from. We'll go have a look too! was the Morta boy. Tainari! Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense that I used. I infused it with three different types of honey, and the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Oh, butterflies must have really sharp noses then. <sighs> Wait, do they even have noses? <sighs> I've never seen one. They do not, in fact, and their vision isn't stellar, either. However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, allowing them to detect floral fragrances from great distances. Oh, so that's how it is. Huh. I had a pet butterfly once. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, but it wouldn't eat any. That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. 
Appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such considerations. You must also ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. Most importantly, you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them while they rest. Otherwise, they may become stressed. Uh, sorry. I liked to poke at its wings at the time. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value, but not all are suited to such a process. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. You sure do know a lot! Uh, I have a question too. I bought a scarab not long ago and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? I'd like to keep a dust bird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? Um, is it possible to keep a Rishpalin tiger as a pet? All right, it seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> but I am in the middle of the Interdarshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Let me propose an alternative. Next month, there will be a biology lecture at Gendarvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. If you're interested, you can attend that lecture, and if you should have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. I'll answer questions after I've finished speaking. Uh, all right, I'll be there. Of course, please try to ask more rational questions. For example, whether you can raise a Rishpalin tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? It seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. Nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. All right, then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Seems like the competition's really heating up. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing. Going on your end. Uh, I've been searching for quite a while now, but I haven't seen any sign of the swift flies yet. Instead, I ended up catching a few mechanical devices that looked very similar to butterflies. Uh, I wonder where they came from. Uh, looks like Barozan and Kaveh's devices are everywhere now. I'll keep up the search. That said, I've noticed that a number of butterflies in the city has already decreased a lot compared to when the event started. Probably because the other contestants are coming up with their own ways to catch butterflies. Uh, Alright, I'll do my best too. Uh, huh? What's this? Oh, what a coincidence. I guess I just need to catch it now, right? Oh, um, please wait! Ah, oh, there it goes. It's so fast! Paimon thought all hate them said they were only a little faster! No, come back! Come on, Traveler, let's go too! The locator's going off! Looks like someone's already cut themselves a swift fly! Oh, it just occurred to me that we should also get you a makeup box. No, it's fine. I, I don't think I'll end up using it. Maybe you won't, but it doesn't hurt to have one, right? Come on, just trust me on this one. Huh? Uh, who are you, and what do you want? Uh, please, don't move. Don't move? Who sent you? Dear. 
Don't worry, I can handle this. Now, tell me, what do you want? <laughs> I believe she's looking for this. Here, take it. A, a butterfly? Was it on my head? Oh, you're... It's been a while, Layla. A friend of yours? Oh, so she must be the one you were telling me about. Huh? You two know each other? Oh, yeah. It has been some time. The first time I ever woke up after sleepwalking, I somehow found myself in Aru Village. Uh, Candace was the one who took care of me then. That's right. She didn't look well, so I gave her something to eat. She said a lot of complicated things about astrology, the night sky, the stars. Not sure I understood it all, but it sounded pretty enchanting. Right. Do you still want this butterfly? It seems like you were chasing it all the way here. It's of little use to me, but if you don't want it, I can't release it. Just let her have it. It's no big deal. The swift fly was flying so fast, but you were able to catch it like it was nothing, Candace. Oh, it didn't seem that quick, really. I was actually worried that I would injure it. But I'm glad that didn't happen. Anyway, sorry about the butterfly thing. With the way you suddenly came running over like that, I thought you were hired to take us out or something. Huh. On second thought, I... I guess I've never seen an assassin that looks tired with dark bags around their eyes. Oh, you must be taking part in the championship. Tch, take it from me. Don't let it stop you from getting some rest. Uh, I'll do what I can. Uh, thank you. Hmm, we'll be on our way then. See you later. Alrighty, let's bring the swift fly back together with Layla. Contestant who has returned with the swift fly. With that, the first round has come to an end. I anticipate that all of you will keep up the effort for the second round. Dismissed. Ah, uh, um... Your closing statement sounded so... How do I put it? Decisive? Well, you could certainly stand to try being more decisive, Nilu. It would help you live more freely. Hang on a second. Who were the first two contestants with swift lies? Tainari was first. And as for the second, it's being discussed right now. Hey, I'll hate them. I think I've come up with a good idea. Second place gets two points, right? Can't Madame Faruzan and I split the points between us? Quite the imagination you have there. I've read the championship handbook from cover to cover, and I never saw any rule which permits that. Then we can just add a rule. Do you really think I'd do that? Come on, you're not going to stand in the way of my victory, are you? Well, you're free to send the organizing committee an application outlining your naive proposal. They'll get back to you within three working days. Three working days? It'll be too late by then. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, even dreaming is going to cost you. Ah, Paimon gets it now. Kaveh and Faruzan found the second swift fly together, but the rules that only one person can get the points. <sighs> oh well, the rules are the rules. Since you call me madam and politely ask for my help, I shall give you these points. So I'll put the points under Kaveh's name then? No. If I take these points, won't that only detract from your contributions, Madam Faruzan? You might be alright with that, but I cannot do it. Not in good conscience. I don't have any problem with it. There are two more rounds after all. Losing one isn't a major setback. But if you insist, I have another method. We can draw lots to see who will receive the points. L lots huh? What? Is there something wrong with that idea? Uh, no. Well, let's do it. All right. I'll get the paper needed for the lots. Uh, give me a moment. Oh, seriously? I'm sorry, but it appears that luck was on my side this time. No, you do deserve it. 
I'm just lamenting my bad luck. Perhaps... Oh, perhaps that's why my life is rife with troubles. <laughs> Indeed. It's rare to see anyone with such terrible luck be so willing to decide victory via lots. And what would you know about that? I just... Uh, we can save bickering for later. Record the points under Farazan, and that'll finally bring the first round to a close. The second round will be held in the desert. We'll be moving our commentator stand over to Aru Village. Let's meet up in Aru Village once everything is ready. I'll announce the details of the second round then. Till then, you have some free time. I'm off the clock at this point, so it's farewell for now. Wait, I'll hate them! You... <sighs> Don't be upset, Kaveh. Sighing can carry away your good luck, you know. Oh, so that's how it works. In that case, I'll take in some deep breaths. Maybe that'll help me make up for all the luck I've lost. <sighs> it's really no big deal. Two points aren't enough to decide victory or defeat just yet. I'll win the next round, you'll see. Looks like you've managed to pick yourself back up, young man. Good. I must warn you, though, that I'm quite familiar with the desert. You'll have to try your best if you don't want to lose. I'm no stranger to the desert either. I'll be fine. All right, then. That's enough chit-chat for now. I'm going to check the area out. Hmm. So the current standings are Tainari in first place, Farozan in second, and Layla in third. Oh, guess we should also take a nice break before the next round starts. But where should we go first? Why, you too look a little lost. If you're not sure where to start enjoying the Academia Extravaganza, then may I suggest that you have a chat with our boss? Your boss? Who's that? Do we know them? <laughs> well, only the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, Lord Sangama Bay. Oh, you mean Dory! Precisely. Our boss sent me to inform you two that she'll be waiting for you at Sumeru City's North Gate. Oh, well, if it isn't the Traveler in Paimon. Hey, Dory, are you here to attend the Academia Extravaganza queue? Of course. People are practically flocking to Sumeru City. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to do business. This is one of the entrances into the city, and it's very close to the Wisdom Gala booths. There'll be an endless stream of customers. <laughs> I can already hear the Mora going clink, clink, clink as they fill my corn pouch. Well, is there anything you'd like to purchase? We've got everything you need and deals that can't be beat. Hmm. Well, do you have anything to eat? Oh, wait, we're celebrating the extravaganza and you're only thinking of eating... <clears throat> I mean, of course, we've got lots of things to eat. That said, I recommend that you also consider some of the great bargains we have going on. The Wisdom Gala is about to begin, and once it starts, each of the Darshans will prepare a small challenge for everyone. And just between us, I have some Super Booster Supplements for sale. Eat just one to boost both your strength and dexterity for a short time, allowing you to overcome any challenge. Uh, no thanks, we'll pass. These little challenges are gonna be a cinch for the two of us. Just you watch. Anyway, Paima just wants something to eat, please. If you don't have any food, then we'll just go somewhere else. All right, all right. Mora is Mora, after all. Oh, what would you like to eat? Hmm, well, Paimon's pretty hungry right now. Uh, do you have any patching? Let me see. This is a huge job, isn't it? If this works out, we'll be set. Here you go. Two servings of touching. See? I told you there's nothing Lord Sangama Bay can't procure. Yay! Uh, huh? What are you looking at, Traveler? Oh? Who? Someone we know? Was it someone suspicious? Have we attracted some unwanted attention? Huh? What's happening, Dory? Is there something else going on? 
who you saw just now, but I do have some hard-to-come-by information about the extravaganza. If you want to know more, we can talk business later. Um, is it me, or are the bags under your eyes even darker than during the last round? Are you all right? Uh, thanks for the concern, Kave. I just... <sighs> haven't been sleeping well lately. Even though I try to fall asleep, I can't get the championship out of my head. And before I know it, it's morning again. <sighs> I know the feeling. That happens to me, too, when I'm agonizing over my blueprints. Do you have any tips for dealing with that? To be honest with you, no. You could say there are many things that don't have a quick fix and can only be endured. Hmm. I suppose you can think of it as something akin to an illness. Sometimes there's no effective cure, so you just have to let things run their course. I don't know what's stressing you out, but I can feel all the anxiety and pressure coming from you. The next round's about to start, so chin up and do your best. Oh, okay. You do your best, too. Looks like everyone's here. I will now explain the second round to you all. There are three leyline disruptors buried in the area around Aru Village. These devices can imitate the effects of leyline disruption and will constantly interfere with the environment. Your goal is to shut them down. The first three who manage to finish this task will be awarded four, three, and two points accordingly. Note that each person may only bring a set amount of food and water with them, and that leaving the designated competition zone will result in disqualification. Well, what do you think? Want to team up again? I shall consider letting you have the points on account of what happened in the previous round. That's all right. I've been here many times, and in any case, machines are one of my specialties. I doubt this will be particularly difficult. It's good to see such confidence in a youngster like yourself. I also happen to be well acquainted with this place. Let's see who will find these devices first. But aside from us, you should remember that there's a favorite for Champion. We must be careful of him. A favorite to win? Who is it? Shh! Not so loud. I mean that boy, Tainari. He took first place in the previous round, and if he does so again this time, we may as well declare this competition over. I heard that you solved the Avidya Forest's leyline effluence problem with him not long ago. Since this round involves resolving a machine-simulated leyline disruption, it should be a simple matter for him. Hmm, that's true. It does look like his odds of winning are pretty high. He already has Kale, who is an excellent pupil, if he were to win this round as well, then wouldn't we just be letting him have all the fun? As his senior, it's my solemn duty to prevent such an inequitable arrangement from happening. I'm off. I'll get going as well. See you later. How are you feeling? I think I'm okay. But I'll take things slowly for now. Uh, is this all the water we're getting? Sorry, that's what the rules say. While this round seems to be about how quickly you can shut down the devices, it's also testing your ability to survive in tough conditions. Uh, I knew it'd be harder than I had expected. So we'll either need to find the devices as quickly as possible, or we'll have to save our energy and wait for an opportunity. <sighs> Okay, I'll head out shortly. Thanks a lot, Nilu. You're welcome. Uh, please, take care of yourself. Well, there goes everybody. So, who should we visit this time? Hmm, let Paimon think. Oh, right! Didn't Farozan say that Tainari's the favorite to win? Let's go look for him first. Tainari! Huh? Weird. The locator says that he should be around here somewhere. Tainari! Can you hear us? You're right! Huh? Oh no, it looks like he's fainted! We have to help him! Tainari, are you okay? Uh... It's... So... Hot. <laughs> Oh, 
So you passed out because of the heat. Uh, are you not used to getting around in the desert? Uh, that's right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert, precisely to avoid this situation. I went through all my water very quickly, and with the effects of the disturbed ley lines, I started feeling dizzy. My ancestors, the Voluka Shuna, were originally from the desert. But I guess this is what happens when a species migrates. They become intolerant of their original environment. Uh, this isn't the time for a history lesson. Let's get you some water. Humans. Such fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. Here, take this. Let him drink it. Are you serious? <sighs> this had better be just normal water. Hey! You're leaving already? <sighs> Hyman really doesn't get that guy. What's he up to? Ugh. Anyway, let's focus on helping Tainari drink some water first. I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> ah, thanks, you two. Oh, it wasn't just the two of us. Just now... Found you at last. Sino, you're here too! I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be able to go on? The fur on my tail is so dry, it's practically been singed right off. I don't see any purpose in pushing myself beyond what is reasonable. It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. I should probably just return to Aru Village and rest. Really? So you're backing out? Yes. I do have my results in the first round to serve as a buffer, so... Even if I forfeit this round, I still have a chance to turn things around later. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. Continuing to push onward would be counterproductive. A wise decision. Let's get you back to Aru Village. <sighs> it's fine. I can make it back on my own. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Come on, we'll help you back to Aru Village. <laughs> <laughs> 